Welcome to Business 321, Business Finance. Um, I'd like to spend a couple of minutes talking about uh, this course and uh, what it's really all about in the, 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 the way that the course will ultimately be assessed and evaluated. So the first thing we want to talk about is just a basic general description of the course. And finance is really an examination of tools, techniques, principles of corporate financial management. Now, one of the things that um, is very helpful for us is that uh, it also works equally well with any kind of business organization you can think of. It works for profit, not for profit, sole proprietorships, partnerships, corporations. The tools and techniques we are work equally well with all of those organizations. Now, of course, we may have to tweak some of the variables. Um, for instance, a sole proprietor doesn't have stock, but they do have common equity. So we can replace some variables from time to time as, as needed. The basic topics that we'll cover are risk and return, the valuation of securities and projects. We'll look at long-term financing, and also we'll look at the financial environment that corporations work in. The course materials, we have a textbook by Chad Zutter and Smart. Um, it's Principles of Managerial Finance. It's the 15th edition. There also is a, um, an add-in card for a third-party software that's called My Lab or My Finance Lab. Now, there's a couple of ways you may find this card. It could come uh, included in the textbook in a shrink-wrapped uh, uh, version. Uh, it also could be available, if it's not with your textbook, then it is available through the eCampus website uh, from uh, Mike Thomas Moore. And uh, you'll go to your digital, uh, virtual digital uh, bookshelf and you'll be able to find the card there. What we need is the access code from that card. Uh, when you uh, open and you find that card, the first thing we should do is register for the course. So that's something you'll need to get started right away. There are videos available on the um, uh, Start Here section of Canvas. Uh, obviously, we're going to be using Canvas as the learning management uh, system. Um, the materials that you'll need from the course are downloaded from those spots. With respect to computing, obviously, this is an online course, so I know you have a computer, but we need to use either Chrome or Firefox as your browser. Both Canvas and uh, MyLab um, are not fully functional using the, these two software packages. So if you're using Safari from Apple or Internet Explorer uh, uh, from Windows or even the newer version, which is called Edge, um, I'm not certain that the, the, the uh, these two softwares will be totally functional. So uh, if you have some issues with that, you need to contact me. We'll make sure we can get you set up right away. Um, in addition, you're going to need access to the full version of uh, Office uh, products. That's uh, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. When you open Canvas, if you look on the left-hand side, there is a link to Office 365 that will allow you to download. It's free. You get to download the product that you need or the software packages that you need. So I suggest you do that uh, you know, as soon as you can uh, to make sure you have everything that you need. As far as communication, uh, if you need to talk to the instructor personally about an issue, you can phone. Um, here's 344-3621. This is the Business Department's Administrative Assistant. If you want to talk to the instructor, or even if, you, if I happen to be instructor, that obviously includes me, but I'm also the content coordinator for this course. If you need to speak to me personally, when you call, uh, let the business administration person know that you want to talk to me on my cell phone. Um, 
since I obviously I work at Thomas More, but since I teach a lot of night classes and online classes, I am not always at the office. So if you need to talk to me in person, um, the best way is to call the phone number and then have, um, have her connect me via phone. You can also connect via the Thomas More email system. When you go to the start here um, section, you'll be able to see the email of either myself as content coordinator and or instructor or uh, the, uh, the other instructor that may be uh, administering this course. Um, if you're working on a quiz or a homework problem, there are help keys that you can use in my finance lab. One of those is something called Ask the Instructor, and this will send the instructor in an email. Uh, virtual meetings and chats are certainly available, either individually or with groups. Uh, we can utilize the conference and chat function that are in Canvas. In addition, if you want to work with several other classes to work on projects or just to talk about assignments, etc., maybe in a study group se session, the conference uh, uh, function in Canvas works fairly well. Um, however you communicate, make sure you let the let the the person that you're contacting, especially if it's via email, let them know your class and section that you're in. This is the quickest way for the instructor to kind of understand who you are, what class you're in, uh, maybe what uh, 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 what chapter you're in, so that we can understand maybe what your issue is before we even talk on the phone or communicate via email. So as far as preparing for course, for the course itself, you're already enrolled in Canvas since you're with Thomas More. You have to enroll in the Pearson My, Fan, My Finance Lab software package. Again, there is a video for step-by-step -step instructions that shouldn't take very long. As far as class activities, you should expect to spend between 15 to 20 hours completing the assignments for this course. Uh, that's obviously on average. Uh, the Canvas system will guide you through the course materials and the activities are essentially quizzes, homework assignments. Again, some of these might be in the form of a Word document. Some of them might be through the My Finance Lab function. Um, again, any of those uh, assignments, homework assignments that are in Word document form, you will either upload or it will be automatically graded through my finance lab. As far as research assignments, uh, you'll get a Word document. You need to complete that Word document by typing in the, the uh, answers to the research. There are boxes provided that you type the, the answers in. And then uh, essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at a real company. So you're gonna choose a company uh, the instructions are in the Word document. And then you will follow that company for all of these research assignments. Every research assignment will be about the company you choose with the very first research assignment. And then next we have uh, discussion forums uh, or discussion boards. I'm sure you're familiar with those. Uh, each discussion board has some the same prompts, if you will. So you're gonna probably watch a video, maybe you'll read an article, and the first part of the prompt says you must summarize briefly the video. What, what is it trying to tell you? What is the, the context, if you will, of the material or the talk? And then the next two parts are you need to have uh, what I refer to as takeaways. You need to have two takeaways something in these uh, this article or video that is of importance to you. It could be of personal importance. It could be related to your job or maybe a future job you want. But I need to know what these two takeaways are. And additionally, it's not just tell me what the takeaways are, but then also expand on that. Why are they important? How do you think they'll help you uh, in your future uh, dealings with life and, and work. Um, and then finally, the last part is, 
you will then have to uh, respond to uh, at least two other um, classmates. The syllabus for the course will give you uh, the particulars. And of course, every time you open a discussion forum, there's a, a brief outline of, of how, to complete, um, how to complete the discussion board questions. So if you think about the assignments, again, so most of our classes start on Sunday or on Monday. So I wanted to be clear, make this kind of general, but all assignments are due before midnight, the day before the next class week begins. So if your class begins on Monday, all assignments are due before the next class week, which would then be Sunday at midnight. Um, obviously there are things in life that get in our way. If you're having an issue with getting something done because of work, um, if you let me know, we can possibly extend a deadline. Any late assignments will receive a 10% penalty. Briefly, if you think about quizzes, right, you have approximately three minutes per question. They're all multiple choice. There'll be very little math in the quiz section. The mathematics for this course is primarily going to be assessed and evaluated through the problems. Uh, each chapter does have a quiz though. Once you start the exam, the clock is running. You cannot stop and come back. Uh, so make sure you give yourself plenty of time to complete the exam. As soon as the exam is completed, you'll get your score. You can then review the questions at that time. Uh, if you have any technology challenges, while working in the homework or the quizzes, please make sure you uh, email me immediately or your instructor so that we can figure out a way um, to help you uh, complete the, this particular assignment. So as far as the course format, right, you're just going to follow the, the, uh, the course from Canvas using the weak links on the left side of the web page. Each chapter has a video lecture and some PowerPoint presentations of that lecture. Uh, additional videos are also available for viewing, and these you use for problem solving and research completion. So uh, again, you have, a, um, you have a lot of videos that I've provided um, to help you uh, with this particular course and, and getting through the class successfully. So how would you do this? If I was taking this class, the first thing I would do is watch the video lectures. Uh, I'd read the chapters in the textbook after that. Um, there is a PowerPoint that follows the video lectures. So you can follow that PowerPoint and it will help you. Uh, maybe you can take some notes or if you have questions, send those questions off to the instructor. You obviously need to complete the discussion on the course introduction. Give yourself enough time to respond to your classmates and have them respond to you, right? So I would probably start the discussion question probably Tuesday or Wednesday. That way, if you complete your initial response by Thursday, you then have three more days with which to review classmates' responses and then uh, respond to one of those classmates. I also mentioned the videos that are there to assist you with homework and research. You can, these are very short videos, most of them uh, less than seven or eight minutes, but they go through and they help you understand how to complete the spreadsheet problem solving uh, parts of the course. And of course, by the end of the week, you need to complete the quiz and homework assignments. If in compliance with Thomas More University's policy regarding equal access for students with disabilities, there are appropriate accommodations available. Uh, if you have a documented physical or learning a, a disability that requires special accommodations, there is a process. And if and this is you, you probably are aware of this process, but you have to go through the Director of Academic Support Services they will uh, process some paperwork, and then that ultimately is passed off to me. Uh, this includes any students who have previously received accommodations. 
So each instructor needs to be aware of, of an issue um, before it becomes a problem, if you will. So again, if, if this uh, relates to you, uh, please contact them immediately so that we can get the paperwork started. Providing more time is never an issue. Um, so um, I think that's all I need to talk about with respect to this course. Um, there are other videos. There's a, there's a course uh, intro video that will take you through the actual use of Canvas. That is located on the, uh, I believe it's on the start, it's either on the start uh, question um, uh, component of the homepage. I uh, look forward to seeing you in class.